Good evening. News 13 has learned a state police officer has been suspended and recently fired from his high school coaching job. Those moves come in the wake of some alarming allegations. Here is News 13's Francesca Washington. A disturbing discovery. I actually found a notebook where she had been writing in it like a journal, like a diary. This Grant's mother says just two weeks ago, she read the details of her daughter's rape. She got scared and she started crying. She said that she was okay. She didn't want to talk about it, just to let it go. The teen says it happened back in March when she was a high school senior. She claims the assistant coach of the Grant's girls soccer team lured her into his car, held her against her will, and raped her. He made her feel like she was at fault. And yeah, he made used it. his authority yeah. to turn it on her. The 18-year-old's mom says she didn't know him personally, but thought as a state police lieutenant, he must be trustworthy. He's a state police officer, and all the girls seem to look up to him and, you know, didn't ever think about worrying that he would be that type of person. The mom says her daughter told three different teachers about the rape during the school year, but they never reported it. These are people that she looked up to, that she thought she was safe with. Since reporting the allegation this month, the Grant School District has fired the officer from his coaching gig and banned him from school property. New Mexico State Police have also launched an internal affairs investigation and placed him on leave. I want to see him in jail. I don't, I want to see him fired away from all girls, not allowed to work with any girls whatsoever. Grants PD is investigating. They say they plan to turn the case over to the district attorney by the end of the week. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. The Grant School District says the three employees with prior knowledge of those allegations have all resigned and their cases will be reviewed by the PED. Grants police tell us since launching their investigation, no other accusers have come forward.